In the wake of World War II, the U.S. government is engaged in a large number of secret medical experiments designed to help win the Cold War. Developing techniques for mind control to create a so-called Manchurian candidate. What is the extent of these brainwashing experiments? How did the CIA become involved in such far-reaching and disturbing research? In May 1953, Scientists at Porton Down are researching one of the most lethal nerve agents known to man, sarin. The experiments are conducted on military volunteers, but the young servicemen have no idea what they are letting themselves in for. On the board there was a separate notice, typed, which said in so many words, volunteers wanted to help find a cure for the common cold. By volunteering, Ken Earl becomes an unsuspecting guinea pig in the war against the Soviets. On May 4th at Porton Down, he and five other Air Force men are led into a small room by two technicians. We were told by the two men to roll up the left sleeve. These two men then took two pieces of material and they taped them to our forearm. They then gave us each a respirator and that we were not under any circumstances to take off the respirator. And the door was sealed behind us. It was very, very pokey, a small building. And I found out since it was a gas chamber, which uh, puts the fear of death into you, of course. with a vial and a pipette went round each of us and he dripped onto this piece of material 20 drops in two rows the clear liquid is sarin nerve agent it is quickly absorbed into the arm through the skin the effects are immediate I became absolutely claustrophobic I didn't know what sheer terror there is in being trapped and not being able to breathe properly. You feel you can't breathe. I was sweating profusely. And I now, even today, I have nightmares about it. After half an hour, we were released, gasping and spluttering and sweating into the open air. Beautiful sunny May morning. Absolute bliss. What a wonderful thing to be alive. The corresponding paperwork clearly states the purpose of the experiment is to determine the lethal dose of sarin. After the Korean War, disturbing new intelligence reaches Washington. Hundreds of American troops are still being held captive, subjected to brainwashing experiments, and then killed. Mind control research back home intensifies. The new goal is to cause an individual to become subservient to an imposed control to the point where he will perform acts against his will and then have no memory of the act. The search for a real-life Manchurian candidate begins. To produce such an assassin, the CIA faces two main challenges. How to induce amnesia and how to program in new behavior. In 1957, Dr. Ewan Cameron, an eminent psychiatrist in Montreal, believes he has the answers. Cameron applies his techniques under the guise of normal therapy. There's a three-part technique which started with an effort to wipe out past patterns of behavior. And this was accomplished through the use of particularly intensive, repeated, high-level electroshocks until no more convulsions could be elicited from a patient. Cameron then plays tape-recorded messages through helmets that are locked to his patients' heads. This psychic driving forces them to listen to repetitive statements for weeks on end to program in new behavior. Now the final phase was to try to wipe out all recollection of what had happened and that was accomplished by putting people to sleep for 30, 40 days accompanied by different kinds of cocktails of drugs. Now that's not any kind of therapy. That's a brainwashing experiment. 